the lottery code words for the Fantasy Five lottery drawing on Saturday, October the 8th, 2011 are charade, mama, exemption, hot dog, immunodeficiency, inchoate, highline. And um, the two field consciousness events I focused on this weekend were the Ides of March, starring Ryan Gosling and George Clooney, and Real Steel, starring Hugh Jackman. Um, first question you may ask is, um, why did I do um, focus on um, the Fantasy Five results this week rather than the Mega Millions, as I had done last week? Um, and basically, from week to week, I pick out of all the weekend's um, lottery code word results, the results that are most interesting in terms of either um, the Ouija board effect, uh, having words that seem fitting to the big events that were focused upon that weekend, um, or actual code words that had been predicted. Um, and also other factors can be involved in picking out um, what uh, the uh, results I choose uh, to focus on. And in this case, the most significant factor wasn't necessarily either the Ouija board effect or having a precognitive dream about a particular code word, although both of those factors did come into play this weekend. Um, but actually the most interesting factor was the fact that um, the actual numbers that came up on the Fantasy Five drawing on October the 8th um, were remarkably close to a combination of numbers that I had seriously considered playing on this weekend. Um, those numbers are what I call um, the Lost numbers, the numbers, the lottery numbers that were featured in the TV series Lost. Um, they played a crucial role throughout the run of the series. Those numbers are um, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and the mega number is 42. Um, there was a character in the series named Hugo Hurley who um, uh, wins the lottery, and um, these are his winning numbers. But um, of course, uh, I early on got the bright idea, well, since Lost is such a big hit TV series, then obviously I should focus on those numbers um, and try to make them come up. And um, what's interesting is that this particular weekend, October the uh, 8th weekend, um, we have Real Steel opening, and one of the uh, supporting cast members uh, was Evangeline Lilly, who was one of the stars of Lost. And so the thought had crossed my mind, maybe I should um, play the Lost numbers for um, uh, Real Steel uh, with Evangeline Lilly. Um, in the end, I decided not to, and as usual, that's a disastrous mistake. Um, in this case, as you can see, um, there was an exact match of three of the six numbers, and the uh, fourth number of the five Fantasy Five numbers that was drawn um, was off by just one unit, coming up to 22 instead of 23. Um, problem is that even if I had decided to play the lost numbers, I would probably not have played them for the Fantasy Five game, because there's six lost numbers, and um, Fantasy Five is only five. I, if I had decided to play them for the Fantasy Five, I would have only played the first five uh, numbers, obviously, because um, the number 42 is out of range for um, the Fantasy Five game. It only goes up to 39. Um, but still, a very interesting coincidence. Um, I think it's probably more than just a coincidence, um, but um, still worth noting. Um, I would have to say, just off the cuff, that um, the... Uh, movie Real Steel is probably the first movie since the end of the Lost TV series where any of the major cast members um, of the TV series has had a major role in a major motion picture, so this was probably a factor in influencing why these numbers came up when they did. Um, but uh, anyway, an interesting effect. Um, funny thing is that uh, when I was watching the TV series Lost, I wasn't particularly trying to entangle um, these numbers with Evangeline Lilly, um, but since she was one of the major cast numbers in Lost, I suppose just by generally affirming the numbers, um, watching the TV show, I would just incidentally entangle with um, uh, Evangeline Lilly as part of the cast. Um, anyway, so that's why I particularly settled on uh, the Fantasy V results uh, this particular weekend, but there are other interesting factors here. Um, in terms of Ouija board effect, um, I think the uh, most significant um, factor was um, the code word charade coming up. Um, the Ides of March starring George Clooney. George Clooney, is, uh, ever since he became a humongous uh, movie star, has always reminded me of Cary Grant, and Cary Grant was in a very popular movie in the 1950s called Charade. So there's that uh, sort of linkage between um, the uh, results on October the 8th and the, uh, the field consciousness of the Ides of March. Um, another factor that also relates to the Ides of March is that um, the movie poster for the Ides of March uh, has this image of Ryan Gosling sort of wearing a partial George Clooney mask as he's holding up the Time magazine uh, with the uh, George Clooney's character on the front cover and sort of wearing it like a mask. And um, I have to say that in my sort of development of uh, vocabulary, I early on got the uh, the mistaken impression that the word charade is kind of synonymous with masquerade. Um, it's actually, of course, not synonymous with masquerade, but I had originally gotten that impression when I was a kid. And so um, I think that it's possible that um, the fact that you have this uh, main character in the Ides of March sort of uh, seeming to wear a, a mask um, may have uh, been a factor in why charade came up, along with the tie-in with the uh, Cary Grant um, association with George Clooney. But also, um, What's significant about all this is that on September the 17th, approximately three weeks ago, I had a dream, um, and I would say that there were at least three 
possibly four um, elements in the dream um, that were associable with um, what, uh, what uh, the field consciousness events uh, associated with October 8th were. Um, so we've got um, the concept of uh, wearing a mask in, in the dream on September the 17th. Um, it involved characters who were wearing masks and costumes. Um, the uh, key element of the dream was um, something about robots chasing after people. And of course, in the movie Real Steel, it's all about these boxing robots. So there was that common element. Um, uh, and the, the uh, movie Real Steel involves um, a uh, sort of uh, orphan kid who um, is uh, being um, sort of uh, bartered over between um, his biological father and his um, maternal aunt who wants him wants custody of the kid. Um, in the dream that I had, there were elements involving a, a father who is um, trying to negotiate with his ex-wife to, to um, get um, money f uh, from her um, in exchange for some legal deal involving a tax exemption. So, oh, look, the word exemption came up and the word mama came up. Um, interesting coincidence. Unfortunately, um, while I clearly have the impression of the word exemption, um, uh, the word mama specifically was not um, emphasized in the dream. So um, basically, uh, and, and another factor that was in, involved in, in the dream on September the 17th was some kind of a crafts fair. And while it wasn't emphasized, I have no doubt that somewhere in the course of the crafts fair dream, there were probably hot dog vendors uh, selling uh, food at the crafts fair. So possibly we have uh, basically elements uh, from the dream um, occurring as the lottery code words here. Um, it's one of these cases where you're getting the uh, gist of the code words without necessarily getting all of the exact code words. So we have uh, the word charade instead of the dream impression of masquerade. We have um, mama instead of uh, mother or ex-wife. Um, and the uh, word hot dog coming up. Of course, there, there were robots in the dream, so that entangles with real steel. Um, and then the word, the one word that wasn't exact dream match was exemption. Unfortunately, since I didn't find any other possible dream words um, that clearly matched um, or overlapped with the possible code word exemption, I did not actually play exemption on the, um, the lottery drawings of um, October the 8th. But um, we all we, we do have clearly precognitive elements here. Um, I might also comment on the fact that one of the uh, code words that came up, um, a date code word uh, specifically, in Coit, um, you might wonder what the hell I was thinking when I picked that out as a possible code word. And to be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea what I was thinking because if you um, asked me to define the word in, in Coit, I would have to say um, I really don't know what that word means. It sounds vaguely familiar, um, um, but I wouldn't have been able to tell you exactly what it means. Um, and I'm not sure why I thought that would be a good code word. Now you might also wonder about Highline. Um, actually, Highline I have no problem with um, because I, as I told you before, I, I was majoring in biochemistry in college and I've taken lots of courses in things like physiology and biology and that. So Highline, um, don't really have a problem with that one. Unfortunately, I didn't actually dream about it. But um, uh, in, in you know, deficiency, I had no problem with that. But Inchoate, I just don't know what I was thinking when I picked out Inchoate as a um, potential lottery code word. It's like Lyceum, um, one of these words that really no idea what I was thinking when I just picked out the, the uh, possible lottery code words. Um, but um, sometimes that happens, and it's unfortunate because it's like if I had you know um, skipped over Inchoate and picked the, the next word down, it might have been a perfectly useful word for this particular um, combination of lottery results, but unfortunately I didn't, so it's kind of a wasted word there. Um, so that's all I have to say about um, these results. It's a case where there were some very interesting things happening. Um, entanglement between um, Evangeline Lilly and the, the results from uh, the, the, the uh, lottery numbers uh, associated with uh, the uh, TV series Lost, um, and then actual prediction of one of the code words, exemption, um, and the sort of potential association of at least three of the other code words with um, with dream elements um, on September the 17th. And then the, the fact that the dream on September the 17th involved robots, highly significant. Um, I should have, in hindsight, hindsight's always 2020. I could have considered that um, uh, exemption would come up with in conjunction with the movie Real Steel because there were robots in the dream with exemption and um, robots in Real Steel. But um, it didn't really occur to me, I, frankly. I, I don't know why. It's just one of those oversights that I often um, have. Um, and, uh, you know, um, we do the best we can here, and let's go ahead and entangle these uh, code words with the two uh, movies um, from October. The You're dreaming about these lottery code words, right? Charade. Now. Predicting the future. Mama. You're dreaming exemption. about these lottery code words, right now. Hot dog. Predicting the future. In you know deficiency. Code words, right now. In coed. Predicting the future. Hyaline. You're dreaming about these lottery Charade. code words, right now. Charade. Predicting Mama. the future. Exemption. You're about these lottery code words, Hot dog. Right now. Immunodeficiency in coit hyaline predicting the future charade mama exemption 
We're gonna be fine. Hot dog. You have to do it. It's the right thing to do. Immunodeficiency. Bad happens when you're doing the right thing. Encoded. Just your personal theory, because I'm sure you're using it. Well, there's exceptions. It's everybody living code words right now. Coffee. You got a couple of minutes? I'd like to sit down. Charade. I can't be talking to you. Mama. You got something the other guys don't Exemption. have. Exemption. You exude something. You draw people. Hot dog. Around. You're the big man on campus. I'm just a little Deficiency. What time you got to work tomorrow? In Nine a.m. I thought I was being smooth. Well, so. no, you're pretty far away. Charade. No, no, not a clue. Mama. Hey, you got the best Exemption. medium in the country. All reporters love it. Hot dog. If your boy wins, you get a job in the White House. He loses. In you're back at a consulting firm. Fire line. I've worked on more campaigns than you've ever done before. He's the only one who's going to actually make a difference in people's lives. Charade. If we're going to lead the world, or we are going to bury our heads in the sand. You're my brain dog. So how are we doing? What do you think, Steve? I think it's us. Take me. In coit. We're working for the wrong man. I want you to work for us. Charade. Calls my friend. There's only Mama. one thing I value in this world, and that's loyalty. Without it, you are nothing. Hot dog. You want to work for the friend? You, you know, the deficiency. Present. I don't have to play dirty Incoit. anymore. I got more. Fire line. We're dreaming about the dress we code words right now. Two sets of ideas. Johnson's endorsement. The race is over. Charade. Cabinet post. Mama. I said I was going to make those kind of deals. Hot dog. Oh, I met with Tom Duffy yesterday. Immunodeficiency. What? I just didn't think you were. Really it doesn't matter what you thought. It matters what you did. It matters what you didn't Charade. do. Mama. I'm coming to work for you. Exemption. Revenge makes people unpredictable. Hot dog. Immunodeficiency. What? In Hot dog. Next president of the United States. We're dreaming about the Russian code words right now. Predicting you really want the story getting out? Dignity. Charade. You were off the campaign. Mama. You thought it was important to fix things. Hot dog. Integrity. Matter. Do do deficiency. In poet. I am mine. I'll do or say anything. Charade. I don't believe in it, but I have to believe Mama. in the cause. Exemption. Hot dog. Immunodeficiency. In coit. Hyaline. We're about these luxury code words right now. Charlie, where is my money? Hey, I got your money. It's right here. Oh, good. Charade. Charlie, you're losing your bet. Mama. Wait, Charlie, I can't. Exemption. Hot dog. As a boxer, Immunodeficiency. In coit. Hyaline. Charade. Charade. Mama. Exemption. Hot dog. No, you're not. Immunodeficiency. Oh, you're fishing for your keys in the Oh my god, that was close. Whoa! Stubborn kid. We're dreaming about the Russian code words right now. Game. Predicting the future. Let's make some Charade. money! Charade. Mama. Exemption. Hot dog. Immunodeficiency. As much as I like you, dude. In coit. You're a bad bad. Hyaline. Charade. You got nothing Mama. left. Mama. Exemption. What are we looking for? Hot dog. Anything I could use to put a fire in the room together. Immunodeficiency. In coit. I think there's a whole room in there. We're dreaming about the Russian code words right now. Predicting the future. He's in the fight. He's a sparring box. Charade. He'll take a lot of hits, but never dishing out Mama. any real punishment. Exemption. His name is Adam. Hot dog. Get him a fight. Immunodeficiency. You know, you bring it home in pieces, right? Hiya, line. Charade. Mama. Exemption. I need you to teach him to box. Hot dog. You know this fight game inside and out. Immunodeficiency. And it's your move, Zorka Maze. Incoit. I can't, I can't. Hiya, line. Yes, you can. We're dreaming about the Russian code words right now. Predicting the future. Charade. Mama. Exemption. Hot dog. Charade. Mama. Exemption. Hot dog. Remember this name. Immunodeficiency. In coit. I'm trying to see a better side line. to you here, Charlie. It's not easy. Charade. Mama. Exemption. Hot dog. Immunodeficiency. In coit. Fire line. We're dreaming about the Russian code words right now. Predicting the future. Can't win, can we? Charade. We'll see. Mama. Exemption. Hot dog. Immunodeficiency. In coit. Hyaline. You're dreaming about the Charade. Right now.
Mama. The future. Exemption. Hot dog. Immunodeficiency. In coed. Highline. Charade. Mama. Predicting exemption. Hot dog. Immunodeficiency. In coed. Highline. Predicting the future.